Hello guys! Welcome back to another episode of my vlog and for today's video, I am going to expose myself for something that I've hidden for a very long time. Something that has really made me insecure because there was something missing in myself. Something that is very basic. Something like my two front teeth. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about my teeth implant journey. But before I start, let me just tell you that the process could be different from person to person. It will really depend on your personal situation and how good your dentist is. For my situation, I basically lost my two front teeth when I was 15 years old. I really liked sweets so much. I wasn't brushing my teeth. Eventually, I got tooth decay in my two front teeth. The cheaper option was to get it extracted and replace it with removable dentures. The other option option was jacket or a crown but it was more expensive we couldn't afford so I just decided to get it extracted. I was wearing that freaking dentures for like 16 years until I had my teeth implant last year which was year 2021. I was given different treatment plans from when I just had my initial consultation until the time I had x-rays and then finally when I had the CT scan. A lot of things can be seen in the CT scan report that was not seen on the x-rays. I had massive bone loss in this area. It's impossible to insert an implant there. And even if I had the bone grafting, it was still not a guarantee that it's gonna stay there for a long time. I've been reading a lot online about teeth implant for many years. So I just suggested what if I get this two other teeth removed, maybe it will be better for the teeth implant to stay. Anyway, this other teeth was already decayed and not in a good condition anymore i just have to sacrifice the other good teeth when my dentist heard that he was like that's a good suggestion of course i think any dentist would not want you to sacrifice the good teeth but i think this is the best way for me not to waste money on something that will not last for long so this is the email that he sent me you can just pause this if you want to read the whole thing I'm gonna show you the screenshots of my treatment plan and the prices would be showing at the right side of it. So for the first appointment, there was nothing exciting yet. I just have to go there to scan my whole teeth. The traditional ones, they use a clay mold inserted so they can create an impression of your teeth. But I didn't have that anymore. They used the digital scanner and that's what they use for creating my bridge and the implants and everything else. The second appointment was the week after that, I had my extractions done at the time instead of having two missing front teeth i already had four they had to put the temporary bridge in so i was never toothless during the whole process I had to be careful not biting in that area or else it will break which I was used to already because having removable dentures for a very long time I couldn't bite on my front anyway and I had to follow some instructions after the extraction which includes no eating and drinking for three to four hours soft diet for the rest of the day no spitting no alcohol or smoking I had to rest and avoid excessive exercise as well and I had to rinse my mouth with salt water for three to four times daily in the next five days to prevent infection and then the third appointment was two weeks after the extraction where they had to do the bone grafting and insert the implants all at the same time for a better bone formation they had to break my existing bone here and mix it with the bone grafting and if you guys are wondering why i still have to get the bone grafting even though i sacrificed my other teeth it was still thin that the implant might not be able to hold and stay in place during the procedure it was not painful the most painful part is when they had to inject the local anesthesia it was just really painful but during the whole surgery you can just hear some noises and a bit of pressure there was also one time where i couldn't breathe because they have to open it wide so it was blocking my small nose i panicked a little bit but i got a hold of myself anyway in a few seconds and just had to swallow my saliva and breathe through my mouth after the surgery there were instructions as well to follow which was the same as when i had the extraction which i mentioned earlier they also gave me some steroids i had to take it for the next four days to reduce swelling i have to drink calcium supplement with vitamin d of course from holland and barrett for a better bone formation the next day after the surgery there was a lot of swelling in this area two hundred twenty thousand dollars if you can believe that i love history 
Do you like history? <laughs> hey so guys. So this is day three yeah, yeah, of okay. post op. You. <laughs> I had a lot of struggle eating and drinking. I couldn't really eat much. I was just doing a liquid diet. I felt like it was getting into the fresh surgical wound. So I had to wash and clean my mouth every time. It was painful when I talked. So it was a good thing that I didn't have work for like three days. For the fourth appointment, it was the removal of sutures. And then after that, I went for my fifth appointment. Four months after, I had x-rays and some measurements and they saw that it was not yet healed. I think it was one month that we had to wait and make sure that it was healing well around the bone with the abutment. And then after that, I had my provisional bridge fitting. The reason for the temporary one is to make sure that I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the form. I had to wear the provisional bridge for one month before they had to replace it with the permanent porcelain teeth. I wasn't very happy with in this side here. It was really big and pointy and I didn't like like that so I told my dentist that it doesn't look like they are in line with the other teeth he reshaped this one I started getting my extractions August of 2020 and then I finally finished end of July of 2021 so it was a whole year of the teeth implant process this is my teeth now seven months after this is when I smile so much yeah it's not perfect but it really changed my life massively because I feel more complete now than I was before. I feel more happy. It was like an investment for my inner peace of mind. I don't know if that makes sense. For the aftercare, brushing my teeth regularly, flossing as well every night before I go to sleep. Also implant braces and bridge floss. That's how I clean it, this one here. So I also do this one and then just do it like this motion. Anyway, your dentist will tell you how to do it. And I have to have cleaning session every six months and also a yearly x-ray with my dentist just for maintenance as well. And let me talk to you about the payment, by the way. The total amount was a total of 6,309 pounds. I was paying it in a staggered way where every Every visit, I just have to pay the amount that they have done to me. During the months that I was waiting for the healing of my bone grafting, I was paying them monthly as well to however how much I could give. Before I knew it, I was already paid it in full. And I was like having my last few appointments without paying anything anymore because I paid it in advance. And also by the way, just to let you know, my dentist didn't want to do my implants if I didn't agree to have my whole teeth fixed. I had some broken teeth as well that needed filling so I paid like an estimate of 1,000 pounds just for my mouth to be fixed and to bring it to a healthy state because basically if you have an unhealthy mouth and you get implants it would still cause infection and the implants could possibly fail as well for those who are planning to get this done do it now if you don't have the money yet that's okay you don't have to feel frustrated just keep on hoping and believing like a few years before I wouldn't think that I can have this kind of opportunity but I just kept on checking online about implants reading about it I've been just hoping for it don't lose hope you will be in that position where you can afford it where I had it done it was actually in skin and smiles in Watford it was near my place at that time when I first started here in the UK I had to check Google for teeth implant near me and I saw their dental clinic I had my initial consultation with them and then it took like probably a year after because I was checking with other dental clinics as well in London when I first had my initial consultation with skin and smiles the dentist he seemed unfriendly and I didn't like that so I just went to look for other dental clinics although they were accommodating and friendly but I had a gut feeling that I couldn't really trust them I felt like I could trust the unfriendly straightforward dentist so let me show you my old 
teeth by the way I feel so beautiful with my curly hair and my cute outfit during the day but the end of the day when I have to brush my teeth and have to remove the dentures my confidence level would just drop down to below zero and I will just feel so insecure about it it's not very obvious because I had a really good dentist in the Philippines in Cebu Doctora Sabiron she was really good at making dentures so I really recommend her if you are in the Philippines or you're looking for someone to do your dentures and this is my photo when I first had my braces with Dr. Sabiron as well she made it possible to have braces on even with my dentures I would just go to the dental clinic to get my dentures reshaped to make sure that my teeth could move with the braces it was probably every two weeks that I had to go there so I think that's it guys that's the whole implant implant journey i am finally free i have finally told the world about this thank you lord for making this possible if you have some comments or anything that you want to add or your own experience please feel free to comment down below because it's gonna help a lot of people who are also struggling with the same situation let's share information and make this a better world <laughs> Let me put my cute. Oh, it's so cute. So, yeah, guys, I will see you on the next vlog. <laughs>